In 1621, history tells us the first Thanksgiving took place as the colonists survived the journey on the Mayflower. In 1914, a Wayne County native painted a depiction of that historic event. Eyewitness News photojournalist Joseph Butash takes us to Honesdale and the story of Jeannie Brownscombe and the first Thanksgiving. If something happened prior to modern photography, what is the image in our mind? The image in our mind is usually paintings or drawings and all. So that's why uh, the first Thanksgiving kind of resonates uh, with at least um, us Americans. Well, she was born here in Honesdale, Pennsylvania, in 1850, a uh, farm, farm family. Her father was a farmer. Her mother encouraged her when she was young. Maybe that did it. She had maybe an inborn talent. So she taught a couple terms here uh, in teach, uh, taught school, and with that money was able to go to New York City to the Cooper Union. Studied in New York at the big art, inst uh, art schools of the time, all of them in New York, with her professor and who knows how many other um, fellow students they formed the, the Art Student League of New York. So studied in Brittany, went back and forth over the Atlantic many, many times after that. Had a studio in Rome. She did have a great interest in American history. She, um, she uh, was able to establish her ancestry back to the Pilgrims. There's several first Thanksgivings. One in Plymouth Hall. Uh, in Plymouth, Massachusetts, is a certain orientation with the table here, and okay, and there's another one where it's flipped, meaning you know it, it's not a mirror image. Well, she painted her entire life. She's very, very prolific. She was born in 1850. We we have some sketches and uh, some entries into the Wayne County Fair when she's a, a youngster. Not many people, perhaps recognize her name, Jenny Bronscombe. But many of us recognize her images. And one of those images is the first Thanksgiving because it was used in elementary te history, history textbooks for a number of years. She would frequently, during her entire life, come back here to Homesdale, and we have documentation of that. There was a local funeral. She was a member, or her family, her mother remained a member of the Central United Methodist Church. In her time, 1850 to 1936, she was able to make a living uh, through her art. She's been called by, uh, called the, the Norman Rockwell of our time, but still nobody recognizes her name. Jenny's final resting place is in the Glendive Berry Cemetery in Honesdale. The first Thanksgiving continues to be reproduced. Wayne County Historical Society Museum volunteer Sally Talaga plans on writing Jenny's biography.